Hi, in this session, we are working with Pablo by Buffer. Pablo is a fast, easy, social media friendly graphics tool. So without further ado, let's talk about what it is. Um, the URL is right up here. Now, Buffer, which created Pablo, is a social media scheduler, so you can create posts and then schedule them to be actually posted on various social media at a later time. That is not free, but the little Pablo piece of it is free. And Pablo is a very fast, very easy, very simple social media post creator, and it is free. It simply combines static text and images. Uh, one of the cool things about it is there's a large stock of free images, over 600,000. And the truly cool thing is that it's a Creative Commons Zero license associated with all the images on Pablo. Um, so you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. Um, work used as a, in a CSU extension context is considered commercial. So uh, this is a really good thing if you're working for CSU extension and wanting to find an easy way to work with social media. Um, you can upload your own images as well as use the ones that are there in Pablo. It is very logo friendly, meaning it's easy to add a logo. And it even has a little quote generator in it. So if you're not really sure um, what you want to post, um, there are several inspirational quotes available there in Pablo. As for the pros and cons of Pablo, the pro and the con are pretty much the same thing. It's a really, really simple program. Um, so the pros are it's free, it's really easy, it's really fast, it's logo friendly, and it comes with a whole bunch of quotes. The cons are very limited options of what you can actually do. There's no actual layout. You're pretty much just working with one picture, some text, and if you like, a logo. So with all that said, let's jump into working with Pablo. And here we are at pablo.buffer.com. And as we can see, here's the interface for Pablo. It's very simple and it's very well designed, very clean. So let's start. Over here on the left, this panel is the images panel. Again, these images are all free for commercial use. You can shuffle these images using this button if you like. Down here, you can upload your own images with a click upload image and then go to your image. I'm here in my graphics folder, so I will simply grab a graphic and click open. And there it is. Now the image I just uploaded, which is here at the very top of our image bar on the left, also shows up in our document here in the center. We can make several adjustments to this. The first one is the size and more importantly, the aspect ratio of the image. So I can go with a phone-like aspect ratio. I can go with a square ratio or the one we're given here, which is more of a header ratio. If I click reposition, I can zoom in or out. So if I want to zoom in a little and then pull this flower off to the side, I can do it just like that. I'll click done. Another way to work with this photo is under filters. This is pretty dark right here, and that's the light contrast filter. There's a limited number of filters. And if we go with none, which brightens up our picture considerably, let's keep moving along in a clockwise manner around this interface. You have several templates to work with. Uh, that Pablo gives you, little layouts to work with, the size and the filters we've already worked with when working with this picture, which brings us to text. Right now we have the body text up. I have a slightly larger header text option. I also have a slightly smaller caption text option. And if I click inside any one of these text boxes, I can work with font, I can work with bold or italics, I can work with text size, I can work with alignment, and I can work with color. If you want a pithy quote to work with when you're posting to social media, the add quotes option is right down here. And by using these little arrows, you can get quotes by Mary Oliver. If you move this up, this is by Henry Ford, Shane Parrish, and so on. So there are some handy little quotes if you need some suggestions on what to put on your social media post. I'm gonna turn off my body text which leaves me with two text boxes. I'll click inside this header box and I'll put in my own text. So here's my text within the text box. I have sizing boxes on the left and right. So I will make this full sized. I'm gonna keep the current font style. I'm not gonna work with bold or italics. I can change the size of this. And I think I will go with this larger size. I'm also gonna line left as opposed to right. I'll move it up here a little more. 
Let's crank that back one. Let's go with Adventures in Sustainable Gardening, just like that. We'll add our caption text next. Here's my caption date showing the time and place for this event. It's currently centered, so I will left align that. I will click outside of it and then drag it over here to the left. And I think that works okay. If we bold it, we get a little more contrast, so why don't we bold it? Let's move on to our logo. So I'll click inside that. I'll choose my logo. When it loads, it shows up in the center. I'll drag it over here to the right. And then I can work with the size using this button. We'll get a little bit smaller and we'll pull it over here to the right. We'll go a tiny bit smaller so it does not interfere too much with that flower. And there we have it. So I can share and download using this button. I can go to various social media sites or I can simply click download and download the image to my own computer. And that is how to work with Pablo.